What up, YouTube? Today I got a very special gift to show you guys. Oh my gosh, new car! New car! New car! New car, we got a Honda Civic 1996 HX with the SIR bumper. I have no idea what that is, but ended up finding it on Marketplace. It's currently not running right now. And uh, the owner who had it uh, said that he was driving it home and some crackhead threw a rock or some boulder. Um, he drove over it, crushed the oil pan. So the oil pan has a fat hole in it. Um, I'm not sure if this was from him or not, but it's got some core support damage. Um, being, I'm, I'm assuming it's from the boulder because the radiator sports kicked up. But uh, yeah, so this is Amy's car. We got it for 500 bucks, and although she's 14, she's going to spend the next uh, six to seven months uh, getting it ready to drive before she gets her license. And today we are going to pull the fenders off, pull the flares off, the wide body flares on both sides. I'm going to show her how to pull the bumper off and uh, undent the core support so we can get the hood to shut. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Bumper's off. And this is the damage. Boom. You see that? That is what we're talking about. That's fucked. Major fuck. You see the hole in the oil pan down there? Oh, yeah. Right there. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to pull this fucking thing out. We're going to pull out the radiator. Um, maybe, maybe not the AC condenser. We'll see. We'll see if we have to, but for sure the radiator. Okay. All right, good morning, people. Just a little update on the Civic. Uh, we finally got the hood to close a little bit. Uh, we got the radiator out. We got the oil pan out. Um, unfortunately, we ran into a couple of uh, problems. Uh, they're not really a big deal, but um, the radiator and the oil pan that came uh, provided with the car does not fit so um we're actually gonna have to go to a ride or uh pick and pull and pull an actual oil pan for this particular d series um so i'm gonna be spending my time doing that this morning and then by the time he's done with school should be able to put all that stuff back together but yeah if you guys like the civic let me know what you guys think let me know. All right, just a little update, guys. We um, went ahead and put uh, two new tires on the back wheels. Uh, we went and pulled off the front, and we had to cut more and adjust so that the wheels wouldn't rub, and this is what it's looking like. Now, I really hate the black on the car, and I know it's Amy's car, but we're going to be head and uh, color matching the fender flares. So, we're doing the Milano Red. We went ahead and pulled out the dent a little bit. Not too much, but what I could to make it not be caved in. But uh, on the bright side, there's no more rubbing. But uh, today, we are going to be painting the fender flares. So, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm not going to do a full-on video or a cinematic of me painting the whole flares. But... I will be giving check-ins. All right, let's get started. All right, up, 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 day. All right, this is what we're looking at. This is the final coat of the fender flutes. And next, we're going to let it dry fully for about, I don't know, 35, 45 minutes for a complete dry. And then we're going to scuff it up, hit it with some fire honey, and uh, clean it up, spray some red. 
Yep. And then obviously clear. But yeah. That's where we at. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we got the front two on. And it doesn't look too bad. The um this fender is the wrong color of the rest of the car. That fender and this door right here are actually the, the brighter red. The whole car is the dark Milano, so this would actually match better with this fender, but obviously it needs buff and, you know, it's all heated up and looking a little light, but that fender is actually a better match to the actual Milano red. Yeah. The back, as you can see the paint difference right here. But that matches the quarter panel of the car a little bit better, but we didn't have enough paint to do the back, so that's the order some. Uh, 